Hi, Jeffrey here. In this video, I will be explaining my view on how to draw. Now, let me preface this by saying that I think the best way to learn to draw is through practice and repetition. However, I do believe that some guidance and understanding of the process can definitely help. So with that said, let's begin. When I think of drawings, I can think of two categories in which to place them. One category is drawings from the imagination. The other is drawings based on reality. And then there are drawings that are somewhere in the middle. So what does this have to do with how to draw? When you draw, you should be cognizant of which one you're doing. Are you drawing based on something you observe? Or do you want to draw strictly from your thoughts without looking at any external stimuli? Or do you want to do a combination of both? Drawing based on the imagination requires more creative skill, while drawing based on reality requires more technical skill. Let's start with drawing based on reality. Pick any object or photo that you want to draw. For example, I want to draw this building called Milan Cathedral. I found this image online, and I'm going to use it as a reference. Now this looks pretty complicated, right? But let's break it down into simple components. If we look at where the major lines are, we can sort of draw these rectangles and diagonal lines to outline the overall shapes. This is something that can be done with anything, no matter how complicated it is. Now this is something we can start to draw, right? Drawing is all about training your brain to do hand-eye coordination. You want to visualize the image you are referencing and project that onto the paper. Try to work slowly and methodically with patience. After you draw the overall shapes, you can start the process of refinement. This is where you erase the initial outline that you drew and draw in a more precise outline based on your reference. You can repeat this as many times as you like, getting more and more precise until you get to the point that you feel satisfied. Now let's talk about drawing purely from the imagination. This is something I don't do very often, and the footage you see right now is me doing a hybrid of imagination and reality. But anyway, since you don't have anything to reference, it's a lot more freeing because you don't have something to compare to. But I would start by drawing simple geometries and curves. Because anything you draw is fundamentally made of either straight lines or curved lines. Now to draw based on both imagination and reality, you pick something to use as a reference, but not exactly copy it. Instead, you use it to make your drawing look more realistic or more accurate. So you pick and choose what elements you want to try to make your drawing look like, while using your imagination to fill in the rest. For example, I did a drawing of the building La Sagrada Familia, and I used this image as a reference, but because the building is not fully constructed yet, I had to use other images and my imagination to visualize what I wanted it to look like if I wanted to draw it because I wanted to draw the building what it's supposed to look like when it's complete. So you can see my completed drawing looks pretty different but still somewhat similar to the reference image I used. And if you are interested, I can make a video explaining step by step how I made this drawing. Other than that, my advice would be to keep practicing. I would advise drawing at least 10 minutes a day, and if you want to easily be able to keep track of your progress, find something that you can draw completely within 10 minutes, and just draw that same thing every day. Eventually, you will make progress. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.